Oh, I am just so glad I finished. It feels absolutely amazing to have finally finished. Doing this every single day for 30 days, it's so intense, it's so demanding on your body. But let me take you back to day one. So it is day one of my Harry challenge and I am so excited to finally be starting. Now if you're new to this channel and you're wondering what the Harry challenge is, it's a challenge that I created in memory of my granddad after he sadly passed away after contracting the virus. Now it is inspired by the Murph workout because this happened midway through filming my 30 day Murph workout video which if you haven't already watched you can click on the link up here. But I created this challenge in order to raise money for the NHS thanking them for their incredible efforts throughout this whole pandemic. Now the workout is very similar to the Murph, however instead of doing squats and pull-ups, we're doing sit-ups and burpees. So it consists of a one mile run, 300 sit-ups, 200 push-ups, then 100 burpees, and then another mile run. Now I am also hoping in doing this for the next 30 days that we're gonna see some form of results and body transformation. But anyway, that is enough introduction. Let's get into the workout. So I am four sets in and wow, those burpees, they really hurt. Going into day two, abs are feeling pretty sore. I went eight and a half minutes for that first run. So that's not a great time. My calves are hurting weirdly. I think it's from the burpees. But today I'm stretching them and hopefully they won't be a problem. So on day one and two, I felt like my technique for my sit-ups weren't very good. So today I've decided to cross my arms and I can really tell the difference. It burns so much. I'm not too bothered about that time. I think that was actually the best time yet, considering I actually did the sit-ups correctly and the burpees correctly. Now I just need to keep it like that for the next 28 days. These burpees, wow. They literally wipe you out. So a little bit of a progress update. Five sets in, 23 minutes, that's what I'm averaging. I've also decided from now on, I'm gonna use the pull-up bar because I don't like the way I'm hyper-extending my wrist. And I feel like doing that every single day for 30 days is not gonna be very good for my joints. Can't lie, I do feel pretty fatigued. It really is a core workout. The sit-ups, press-ups as well, you're still using your core. But then doing the burpees, throwing yourself up, I think having not worked out my core in a long time, it's making this a lot more difficult. Still haven't beaten my first time. I guess the only explanation for that would be on day one, I was fully rested. Figure's definitely looking better. I'm looking a lot more slim. I think in order to improve these times, I need to make sure that on the sit-ups, I do them all in one go. Because right now, I'm only able to do the first 20, and then I'm having to do the final 10 in two sets of five. So today I decided to stop my workout as soon as I woke up. I haven't eaten yet either as it would be more effective burning fat whilst fasting. I'm pretty hungry. And I'm also not feeling too energetic on this workout. So maybe that's not the best shout if you're trying to get good times. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys work out in the morning and let me know why as well. I'm glad today's workout is done because now I can eat and I'm having green beans, salmon and potatoes and it's absolutely delicious. So every day instead of drinking my morning coffee, I've been starting my day with one of these ketogenic drinks. It's got caffeine in it and it makes me feel a lot more energized. It's absolutely delicious. And I'm having raspberry lemonade this morning. <sighs> I guess the only thing that's different is it's not boiling hot outside. I decided to work out in the evening today rather than the morning. Seems to have helped. Oh, 
I think the problem with doing a workout while fasted and not having eaten breakfast is when you get to set number seven, I feel like I've got no energy left. All right, it's hail storming. I think at the start, the burpees were so, so difficult. But now I feel like as I've improved my technique, it feels a lot easier and it doesn't feel anywhere near as difficult during the full 10. The first five sets, including the first mile run within 20 minutes, which is a major improvement considering the first week, I was doing it in 23 minutes, 24 minutes. I am really improving these times. I feel a lot fitter, my body's a lot better. Definitely got way more defined, a lot more slim, a lot more trimmed. I'm nowhere near as bloated as I was in the first week. I've not been taking any protein shakes, but yeah, overall feeling really good. Well, that wasn't good. Bad night's sleep last night. The problem with being tired and not getting a good night's sleep, the first five sets are fine, but from there onwards, I am exhausted. <sighs> I think I'm gonna give myself a target as well. I'm gonna say 41 minutes is my goal, just because I am finding this a bit more difficult than the Murph. It's a lot more cardio. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit more intense. 41 minutes is the goal. crazy that I've only got like a few days left and I still get a lot of pain when I do the sit-ups. Set number five I'm currently on and it really hurts. But having said that, my abs are definitely looking noticeably better. Another thing I've noticed having done this is my sleep hygiene has got a lot, lot better. But also when I have a good night's sleep, my performance is a lot better, but that's obvious. One thing I think it's important to mention is having done the 30 day Murph challenge before this, that definitely helped me have the fitness foundation to be able to do this without any real problems. Ugh. Weirdly, I haven't been stretching. I don't know why, because if there was one thing I learned from my Murph challenge, it was stretch before your sets. And I've not been stretching and my groin is really sore. I do not know why I continue to work out when it is boiling hot outside, but also my groin is really sore, which isn't good. I've only got like four days left and I want to get 41 minutes. And at this rate, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'm not sure how I'm going to take six minutes off that time. I don't remember the Murph challenge feeling this difficult on day 25, 26. <laughs> My knee is getting really sore. I cannot wait to finish this 30 day challenge because it really takes a toll on your joints. I don't think it's good to work out every single day, especially at this intensity. I think the only thing that's limiting me on these sets is the sit-ups. It's still really, really achy around my abs. But with that being said, it's definitely had an aesthetic impact. Abs are definitely looking better. So yeah, final week. <laughs> 40 45 I feel like working out in the evenings is just it just works better for me throughout this whole process I've worked out in the morning then I started working out in the evening again then the afternoon and then morning but then best time always comes every time I work out in the evening I don't know whether that's because growing up I'd swim every single evening so maybe I've conditioned my body to work out better in the evenings it only makes sense to set another target time otherwise why continue? So I think my target, it's gonna be 40 minutes. I definitely feel like I've got way more stamina when I'm doing these burpees. So we are here, it is day 30 and I'm so excited to finally finish this challenge. I'm excited, I think I'm gonna be able to make under 40 minutes today. I've had two bananas as well. I'm feeling energized, full of potassium and carbohydrate, of course, but I'm ready to smash it. So let's get into it. I'm halfway in, 19 minutes, five more sets and one more mile. My left knee is causing that much of a problem. When I'm doing the burpees, I'm having to use my arms more and only use my right leg. Final mile. <laughs> 10 seconds left. <sighs> oh, for God's sake. 12 seconds 
Do you know what that's probably down to? Setting up all the camera angles and messing around in between sets. But do you know what? It has been an amazing experience, especially after doing a Murph challenge every single day for a month as well. I feel like I have definitely seen some amazing results. I feel like my whole day is a lot more structured. I'm feeling a lot more productive. I'm falling asleep at a normal time, like 11 p.m. I'm exhausted every single day. I also think it's a fantastic idea to get involved in if you do want to see really good results in terms of a body transformation. If we look at how my body's compared from day one through midway and then at the end of this challenge, there's been a major improvement with how my physique has changed. I've definitely lost weight, I've become more trim, I've got more muscle, I'm way more defined and the benefits are tremendous. I do also wanna say a massive thank you to everybody throughout this whole period who has donated to the NHS for this Harry Challenge and has sponsored me. The link is still gonna be in the description below if you do still wanna donate. Everybody that has donated, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so grateful and thank you so much. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this travel lifestyle all that good stuff and press the bell button to get notified every single time I post but that pretty much does it thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys in the next one